when this was drawn in 1947, you see it disrupted property after property after property because uh, it took off the rears of a whole bunch of properties and so forth and so on. And there was no way in the world to implement it or do it when it was conceived. And uh, this is the way I always work. I simply jump 20 years into the future. Nobody's there bothering me, telling me it can't work. <laughs> and I just do what I want. Was it nice now? Years ago. This is, this is but you see how you walk along here and all these things unfold. And it's so wonderful because it connects the moon. Here you are in the mall and you turn into the beginning of the Greenway system. And of course you get the view right down in this direction. But it would make one turn up the stair and this is turn number two. And you walk here. Architecture is not objects. It is a uh, projection of sensory stimuli onto your re physical receptors uh, in sequence modulated by design principles. And then you turn around like this. Oh, God, great. Powering up above you again. The, the word Greenway, you're credited with being the first person to use that term. What do you mean I'm credited? <laughs> That's what everybody does. They don't believe a damn thing. I made it up. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. I made it up and I talked about it and nobody listened and nobody paid any attention. Because it's a way. It isn't an object, it's a movement. And of course, the whole point of the whole thing is to perceive the reality that you cannot move from here to there in any conceivable way except you have an intervening sense of movement through space and all the consequences, whether you fall on your face or, or you uh, love the uh, smell of the flowers. Oh, this is so Now what is happening to you, you people, in your sequence of perception? Oh, how could it be better? Can't you see those columns emerging? What is more wonderful is like a great You start this Greenway sequence at Independence Hall and you proceed north on the axis of Independence Hall across Market Street and you see ahead of you there the spire of Christ Church and that is actually the thing that's been leading you along up to that point and because you move toward it, it you respond in your body to it uh, in a way you don't just looking at it. And you uh, then uh, see across Market Street the arch of the original 18th century houses that were built by Franklin in the front of his lot to make some money. And you go through that arch and you're suddenly surrounded by a real courtyard of 18th century residential architecture and your whole body senses the rhythm, the delicate rhythm of the scale of it. What do you see? Ah, oh. oh, it's fabulous. <laughs> but, and just see that one little window, can you see it? I mean, it's wonderful! Hey. You see how it opens up? And you see how even the change in level is very important. And, and that's very, very important. get rid of these, isn't that terrible? You 
feel a whole sense of your rhythm changing your vibes. Isn't that marvelous? Anything they want. You come here and this place was a deep. Now it comes to be intimate like this. It's but you asked me about how I work with the my mother-in-law answered, and she said it's, it's big in there, and she said no, and uh, nice. Look at that, that wonderful Oh. Hey, look at this. Oh. Actually, I grew up here. So when I was a child, I played here myself. <laughs> In the 60s, I believe. And I love it. I think it's, it's pretty and it's uh, practical for small children. It's Are you Edvin? Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you for coming. Wonderful Thank you park. for being in the show. Wonderful park. It's really a great place. I never saw it so active as this. is great. Oh, it's, we love it. And everybody in the neighborhood. Just, I don't know what we would do without this park. Really. Honestly. I didn't notice that before. This is it. Like. See, look. Here is the Spire of St. Peter's. Oh, okay. See how we went? We went this way and that way and this way. Well, for God's sakes, I put you through a mile and a half of them, and you want me to define it? No, a greenway is a pathway through space, which is articulated and uh, defined to a considerable extent by trees and, and uh, green open spaces, uh, in which there is a deliberate uh, decision to so modulate the stimuli to your uh, physical receptors as you move through these organized spaces that uh, your body receives a harmonious and musical sequence of stimuli, color, light and dark, uh, movement, depth of vision, so forth and so on, uh, which makes the process of walking through these defined greenways uh, an artistic continuity which is not dissimilar from that of poetry and music. And I learned this in China. And it really crowns the uh, top of society. Incidentally, this is Ed Bacon's way, which goes right into it. Here, here is my whole uh, complete uh, philosophy of design by Mr. See if you know who wrote this. And as imagination bodies forth the form of things unknown, the poet's pen turns them to shapes and gives 
to Airy Nothings, a local habitation and a name. Midsummer's Night's Dream. Oh, but it's fear. absolutely extraordinary because the use of the uh, word body <laughs> as a verb, I mean, that's, it's always for me that this whole thing is really my entrails enlarged to a considerable degree. <laughs> 